Is it good? Yeah. Okay. So this next story is a traditional tale from, from Italy, from Abruzzo, which is in central Italy where they had the, the earthquake, the major earthquake a few years ago. Um, and it's, uh, I found it through um, this collection of Italian folk tales that came from, that were, was, were collected and retold by um, Italo Calvino. He's just one of my favorite authors in the whole wide world. So this is a traditional tale from, from Abruzzo, and it is about a king who was out strolling his kingdom. He saw the people, the swallows, and the houses, and he felt content. Then a little old woman passed by, minding her own business. She was a very, this was a very distinguished old soul, but she was a little bit hunchbacked, and she had something of a wry neck, and she also walked with a limp due to a lame foot. The king stared at her and laughed. Ha ha ha! Hunchback wry neck hobbler! And he just laughed right in her face. Well, this woman was in fact a fairy. And she said to the king, she looked him right in the eye, and she said, Go ahead, laugh your fill. We'll see who's laughing tomorrow. At this, the king just had another fit of laughter. Ha ha ha! Hunchback Reineck Hobbler! Well, back at the castle, the king had three daughters who were very beautiful girls. And the next day, he called for them to go out strolling with him. The first daughter came to him, and she appeared with a hump on her back. And the king said, what's the meaning of this? Why do you have this hump? Well, the daughter replied, the maid made my bed last night so poorly that I woke up this morning with a hump. And the king felt a bit uneasy and began pacing the room. The second daughter arrived, and she was walking with a wry neck. Why on earth do you have a wry neck? The king asked. Well, the daughter replied, This morning the maid was combing my hair, and she plucked out a strand and sprung wry neck. Well, what's the deal with her? the king said, because the third daughter had just limped into the room. Well, the daughter replied, I was just out in the garden with the maid, and she picked a jasmine flower and flung it at me. It landed on my foot and lamed me. So I walk with a limp. Who is this maid, the king demanded. Bring her to me at once. Well, so the maid was called and dragged before the king by his guards. And um, she was, in fact, hunchback, Reineck, and hobbling. It was the same woman from the day before. The king recognized her at once and shouted, Coat her with pitch and burn her! And at that, the woman began to shrink and shrink and shrink until she was just the size of a nail and just as pointy. She hammered a hole in the wall, slipped inside, and disappeared, leaving behind only her hump, her wry neck, and her lame foot. The end. <laughs> ah, that's very good.